Hi, I'm Thesia Ellis and welcome to Grandma's Homestead. I'm trying to figure out how to turn not only for light but for the wind. There's only a, a breeze today. The wind, wind has laid down considerably. Uh, it was quite windy yesterday. I think we had, were having 40 mile an hour gusts yesterday. So uh, it's a little bit breezy. It's in the 60s today. Yesterday it got up to 70 degrees in the middle of December. I'm okay with that. And it's, it's cloudy today and uh, but it's this is even though it's still warmer than normal it's the cloudiness is typical of <clears throat> December I have a small maintenance project that I want to do this morning and um, something that I think helps honestly this is uh, what I call rodent proofing my car uh, we're out here on the middle of 40 acres um, with very few trees lots of grass when we first come out here i don't know if you've ever heard of voles v-o-l-e-s they were tremendous out here hundreds and hundreds of voles i don't know why we don't have as many voles now as we did 10 years ago and i'm grateful because i had a car that had soy coating on the spark plug wires and i went through like six sets of spark plug wires in just a matter of months and it was very expensive and really a pain in the neck and stuff and uh so i this my car that i have now is a 2018 we bought it new it's um i love this car honestly it's the toyota rav4 and uh, so i'm gonna try and take care of it and one of the things i like to do is i was watching a video years ago and i think it was Al Lumna of Lumna Acres and uh, he, he did a couple of things and oh and uh, uh, Jason Smith of Cog Hill Farm they have ways of what they think is helping keep the the rodents out of their vehicles too so I'm gonna implement some of those and uh, we'll do that today and I'll show you and I'm way overdue it's been a while since I've done this and I think I've done a video on this but it's been a long time since I've done a video on this so that's what we're going to do today we're going to work on trying to rodent proof my car Okay, you can see evidence here. This is one of the things I've done. Uh, this is a different one. So we're going to pull these. I've got them in a couple of places in here to try to protect my hose and my wires and stuff. Why is this loose? I don't know. Looks like a... All right. So let's get started and, uh, and, and uh, get some of this stuff changed out and see how it goes. The first thing I want to do is cut off this old stuff if I can and untie this other stuff remember where I put them all okay now I've got all the old ones out all right, now first thing I'm going to do is take this dryer sheet and cut it into quarters. Now it makes it easier to tie wherever you're going to tie things. So I'm going to go ahead one here. They have a tendency to stay good, so I only just do the one tied up real tight. That one had something different on it. I'm trying to remember, oh my goodness, how you forget where you put your stuff. Maybe. All right, so that's it for the dryer sheets. Now, when the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some. I like peppermint oil. I believe most of the instructions I've ever seen like uh, spearmint oil, but I like peppermint. So I'm going to zip tie these um, cotton pads to the a couple places in the engine compartment then i'll show you the other place i put them but i do want to show you one more thing this is a thousand assorted zip ties i bought this several years ago and i think it was twenty dollars at the time this has been so helpful i mean because then you can see where we've added some to it as we buy I had to buy some like those in the plastic bags of what we've bought over the years and add it to this so i've got zip ties of various sizes all in one container and somebody goes do you have a zip tie i know exactly where it is and i love that so we'll take the first one and zip tie it on 
and sprinkle liberally with your peppermint oil or spearmint oil, whichever you prefer. I'm trying to get some on the cotton pad. Okay, that's the one. And there's the second one. So that's everything for the in com engine compartment. And I've got one more place that I like to put this peppermint oil. Well, it looks like I collect a lot of napkins. I guess that's a good thing. There's what I'm looking for right here. This is another cotton pad. Because I have had mice in my car actually inside of it and uh, so I'm gonna I do what to do there it is so I like to put peppermint oil in my glove compartments plus it kind of smells nice for the the car itself but I do I mean even even though it's in a plastic bag the smell does escape a little bit and I'm okay with that Put all my napkins back. And that's it. I can't, I can't help but laugh every time I make a noise. My, my turkeys make a noise too. So when I slam the door, it startled the turkeys and boo. Okay. But okay, so that's all I got for this today. I This is something, I like the smell of the peppermint. Uh, I and I don't know and po there could be several things that that uh, contribute to the fact that I don't have trouble with anymore number one is there are fewer um, voles that are running around here but I still have a lot of mice so that's one thing and I really don't I think they went away from doing um, the soy covering for the spark plug wires thank God and then I, I'd like to think that this maintenance measure that I do every few months <laughs> helps too uh, and I'm sorry about the wind but let me see if I can turn this way see if it comes out of the wind a little bit so I hope this helps you if nothing else your car smells better and uh, makes you feel like you've done something for the car but this is what I do and I don't have the trouble that I used to have and I'm grateful for that all right guys that's all I got for you today I just want to remind you that Find something to do in your life. Find something that catches your attention, makes you want to get up in the morning and get out of bed and live. Live until you die, guys. It's been a while since I've said that, and I, and I really mean that. God bless. I'll see you next time.